Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, all al amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself, an abdikal ajis al daif al miskeen al zalim al jahan, but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us His life to enter into the, the holy month, Jumad Awal and the blessed birth of Sidna Zainab and this weekend. We pray that Allah dress us from this immense ni'mat and alhamdulillah we talked last night that Allah gave two organs, the mind and the heart and each has its purpose but to reach towards the Divine then guidance and understanding and realities is going to come from the heart. And the mind can be hijacked by shaitan and the mind doesn't have a way of understanding Divine realities. Means then the secret of spiritual guidance is in the reality of La ilaha illallah that the light of La enters into the head, the forehead is written La, to the right ilaha and then into the left into the heart illallah and has a deep reality that this spiritual path and spiritual realities that Allah gave to us these two organs that this head of yours is meant for dunya. And if you try to use it for akhirah it will make no sense. And the nafs and shaitan have a strong hold on the brain and the people whom try to use their brain and head for everything. And spiritual guidance and reality has come and teach us that the way to Allah and the way towards the heavens is in the heart. And we described many examples last night that Qalb al-Mu'min Baytullah and that Allah gives an immense reference that the heart of the believer can become a vessel for the house of Allah can become a container for the house of Allah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. and the true replica of the Kaaba. The Kaaba that we have and we, we go and make tawaf in Hijaz is something that we made. That Allah made it to be blessed, sent a stone from paradise and mankind put those stones together and made its shape and its form according to Allah's guidance. But what Allah made was the heart of insan and blew into it of His Divinely Spirit. And the immensity of that reality that Allah made the heart, put the Divinely Spirit within that heart and through that heart has a door into the Divinely Presence, not the mind. The mind, there's no reference to the mind in which Allah says, the mind of the believer is my house, but the heart of the believer. So the tariqahs come and teach us that these two organs actually are not being used correctly. 99% of people now are using their head for everything, religious, everything spiritual, 
every trying to understand everything by what they read, sit and say, logically it makes sense, it doesn't make sense and trying to find the Divine through their head. And they can find nothing but egoistic whispers and shaitan waiting for them. And if they use their head too much in the end of their life Allah merely begins to shut the energy off. And if the energy begins to deplete from the head then they have all the sicknesses of lost memories and lost identity and lost persona because the emphasis was all to put energy into the head. And the spiritual paths come and say, no the energy actually should be into your heart and all this focus should be into the heart and that the energy and the Divinely Presence is within the heart. And if the heart is activated because we want to reiterate from last night, it's not that you can tune in and say, now I'm going to follow my heart and that's the only guidance I need, is that the heart has to be conditioned, has to be trained. That was the whole teaching, it's the, the brain in tariqah training will be trained to shut off. But at the same time when the brain is shutting off the heart has to be trained on how to be activated. So that's not an easy path, it's an extremely difficult path. People whom wish just to follow their heart with no training they can become easily deviated and they lose the foundation of Islam and the basics and the understanding of sharia and they'll be lost. It's a whole condition, it's a whole process. It's not so easy as just one shut off and one turns on. Means it's an immense reality of Islam that they come to the shaykhs for the discipline to understand and how to make the tarbiyah of their Islam which is the physicality. And in that phase they'll understand through their brain and the logical understanding of Islamic law and the natural, natural reality of Islamic law. But when they're trying to reach towards marifa and towards iman and faith in which the foundation of their Islam is strong, they understand the tenets of right and wrong and yes and no and halal and haram. Means then in the way of iman and maqam al ihsan as they wish to rise then it has to be trained in the activation of the heart. That in this reality you can't understand faith and you can't understand the heavens with the head because the head hasn't seen it. So with the strong foundation in their belief and then the strong disciplines put upon them then they're trained on how to open the heart because only with a strong foundation can the heart open. Without a foundation it can become hypocrisy in which the heart of someone who has no tenant and no discipline can go all over the place. So my heart feels like this, so my heart loves this, my heart loves that and it become fasiq and, and, and very dangerously wrong. So the understanding was for the higher levels of belief is that the student will train on how to deactivate their head in this realm of iman and maqam al-ihsan. And as a result of their disciplines they're trained their heart on how to be activated, how to make their connection and how to turn off the signal and activate the reality of the heart with all the coordinates that have been taught, with all the foundation that been taught like a building of a structure now, that they're solid in their foundation and their understandings of do and don't and right and wrong. And as a result they begin to train in their tafakkur and in their contemplation and that's all then based on the level of the heart in which they have to open the light of the heart, they have to make the connection with the light of the heart. So that Allah can begin to illuminate the heart of the believer. And from that point on like you're entering into a, a, another dimension of realities which the brain has no capacity. So then at that time the brain will be turned off and they're trained on how to shut their head and open their heart. And as a result of that the heart has an infinite capacity to receive the lights, receive the guidance 
and begin to be a, a vessel and vehicle for inspiration. And that what we describe that when Allah teaches the servant and this been done correctly, the head will become the khalifa of the heart. Allah will allow the head of that servant to become the representative of His Divinely Presence which should be residing within the heart of the servant. Otherwise the head is just a representative of shaitan at first because everyone comes into the world and then based on their actions, their parents and their upbringings they become wild. What happens then as a result of the wildness is that shaitan begins and the nafs and shaitan are occupying that person and as a result they're controlling the head and the throne of shaitan is in the heart of that person controlling the head. And what Allah want from us is that, come to your disciplines, come to the reality of Islam which is for your physicality. And as a result of coming to the training of your physicality, make all of your submission now to enter into your heart, open your heart, open the light within your heart, open the infinite capacity for ishq and muhabbat and kindness within the heart. And then Allah inshaAllah to grant the head to become the khalifa of the heart because it learned on how to turn off as a reality of… as, a, as an example of being off. It reached its binary reality, it understood it has to turn off and the heart will turn on. And as soon as the heart turns on we said then they're, they're now inheriting that holy hadith al-Qudsi in which the servant completed their fard. So means that's what we want to clarify, people who may tune in and say, oh we just have to follow our heart no more to follow religious laws and no. The hadith was clear in which Allah said, no they, they complete all of their obligatory worshipness. They keep their disciplines and the tenets of their belief according to Islamic laws. And as a result of that, now Allah will begin to dress them with the Divinely love which shall become your hearing. Well this is now all the head is now becoming dressed with Allah's honour. It becomes Allah's khalifa. Because the Khalifa of Allah is the one whom hears Allah sees with Allah speaks on behalf of the Divinely Kingdom. So means that these are all of the crown of this creation that Allah wants to crown that servant. But at first it's being used by shaitan and that's what danger and Mawlana Shaykh would teach that people go for higher learning if they don't have a strong tenant of Islam, strong foundation of Islam, all higher learning is meant to take away the belief on a higher power and that they're capable of everything. They want to increase knowledges and increase sciences to prove or disprove the existence of a Creator which is not allowed. So that's why then if the foundation is strong, the belief in Islam is strong then all knowledge is in the pursuit and glorification of Allah And that then becomes a blessed knowledge and a blessed servant in which Allah then dresses that head to become a holy head in which the ears represent Allah's hearing, the eyes represent Allah's seeing, the tongue represents Allah's Divinely inspirations. And that the head is now shining from the light of the heart, not trying to shine itself not trying to illuminate itself, it understood its binary reality. It understood that the head is most powerful when it's in an off position and the heart is on. And that's what we call guidance and the guides. The reality of true guides is they reach their binary reality. They reached their understanding and training on how to shut the head off, turn their heart on and as a result guidance comes through their head. Which 90% of mankind is the reverse, they're taught to shut your heart off and keep using your head. And in, in some schools of training in psychologies and medicines and, and I think law and other things, they keep telling you, don't use your heart. It's not about anything to do with the heart, don't talk about faith, it's not anything about the higher power, this is it, memorize this and speak it. So they actually encourage you to turn your heart off. And that's a danger, that's a big danger. 
because the heart is the infinite capacity of the Creator. And that's why then the three, four, five hundred years ago the immense amount of sciences that were coming out from Islam because they had immense hearts. These were pious awliya whom their hearts are infinite capacity. And as a result whatever was coming from their head was from Divinely Presence and they brought onto this earth illumination. Science is from Muslims, medicine is from Muslims, psychology is from Muslims. Uh, anything you can think of, math, computer, uh, arithmetic, algorithm, everything is from Islam because the system in which they cut their head, open their heart and as a result the Divinely Presence comes and then begins to use the head in accordance with Allah's Divinely will and they illuminated the entire earth with knowledges and realities until today we're benefiting from their ilm and their knowledges. And all the way to the Day of Judgment is the foundation of Allah is, is going to show. And during these calamities it will again shine to show that their system is correct. The illumination of the heart is most powerful and if the heart is illuminated and illuminated in the correct way and correct understanding it can reach to the highest levels of Allah's Divinely Presence in which a heart that is illuminated with not that highest, alhamdulillah it's illuminated, has a light but not the light that Allah wanted to grant which is the Muhammadan light and the Muhammadan kingdom and Maqam al-Mahmud that to dress the heart of the servant. We pray that Allah illuminate the hearts of our people and that to keep us with the ishq and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad on this journey into the Divinely Heart and Divinely Lights from all the way from Tahseen to Surat Al Yaseen and from Surat Al Yaseen into the, this holy month and uh, Allah's dress upon this holy month and upon our hearts. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifoon. Wa salaamu ala al-mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fati. As alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.